Now on GMA with a Netflix crackdown, the popular streaming platform putting an end to password sharing. Trevor Alt is back with more about what you and your family need to know as you get ready for binge watching in the holiday. A lot of people nervous now. Definitely. Oh, this is going to impact a whole bunch yes. of people. Uh, we know that back in March, Netflix tweet or back in 2017, March. Netflix tweeted, love is sharing a password. And if that is true, then you can consider this a love lockdown. Because starting <laughs> next year, everybody who's relying on somebody else's account, including Will's friend, is going to have to start paying for their access. Do they know that you're pulling double duty? Oh, God, no. This morning, some Netflix users' streams may soon be running dry as password sharing is coming to an end. 2023, the streaming giant says it will start cracking down on subscribers sharing accounts with friends and family. As the company claims, more than 100 million non-paying households are accessing the service. See you on the other side. On the other side. With this password crackdown, it will encourage multiple accounts per household, but also now will have the consumers start to weigh in about what is really important to them. You are the bane of my existence and the object of all my desires. Despite hits like Emily in Paris and Bridgerton, Netflix has been trying to combat their losses. In March, they began testing new features in select countries that allowed subscribers to add users to their accounts for a small fee. And just last month, they launched a lower cost ad supported membership option for $6.99 a month Though subscription analytics firm Antenna says that was by far the least popular plan. I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. Welcome, gang. We got a great weekend. Netflix is also hoping to have a huge weekend with today's release of Glass Onion, the sequel to the massively popular mystery Knives Out. This is truly delightful. The film with its star-studded cast, including Daniel Craig, Edward Norton, and Kate Hudson, already had a limited release in theaters, a move questioned by box office experts. Netflix didn't release any official numbers, but they could have kept it in the theater and ran the gauntlet through the Thanksgiving holiday up until now if they chose to. I, I just thought maybe there was a prize or something. Now, some analysts estimate password sharing has been costing Netflix close to a billion dollars a year. But as for this new policy cracking down, the CEO of Netflix told investors earlier this month, make no mistake, I don't think consumers are going to love it right out of the gate. Mm. I think that's probably that's true. That's an understatement. Do you have any tips on how to do the it's not me, it's you? <laughs> <laughs> no, friends. See, I, see I am, I'm typically the mooch in this situation. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'd say just let him do it as long as... Well, we'll try to justify it. Say, no, it was my friend, <laughs> exactly. but I had his... <laughs> Real right. password. Yeah. Play of the day is next. Stick around. <laughs> a larcenous dog. And